If it wasn't for St. John's, I wouldn't look forward to coming to church every weekend. And I probably would have a tough time getting my kids out of the door. But we truly love it here, and we feel included and welcomed and see everyone included and welcomed here in a way that I've never seen at any other church. St. John's takes diversity and inclusion really, really seriously, and, and that's a theme throughout everything I've said. Um, but you do see people who represent, you know, different genders, different race, different ethnicity, um, different sexual orientation here, and everyone comes together. And that was really important that my kids got to grow up in a space like that, and I appreciate that St. John's is able to provide that. My spouse and I were talking about faith, and he said, I don't think there are other Christians that really exist like you. Not in the way that you radically love and accept people the way that they are, no matter who they are, it doesn't matter to you, and you just take that radical hospitality, that love from the Bible, and just want to spread it. And that's just not what I see in other Christians. And it was just a, it was a deep conversation and I'm a pretty passionate person and I really go for things. And so I remember thinking in my mind, and I might have said it to him, saying, challenge accepted. I'm going to find that place and I'm going to find those Christians. And so I remember thinking about a specific issue that matters a lot to me, which is all around diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, something I'm really passionate about. I do a lot of my work about it and it's just something that kind of perforates into our personal lives as well. And I just really struggled finding a church that truly took that inclusion aspect, let alone having diversity in the church that you can, you can actually see and feel. And I ended up searching on Google LGBTQ friendly churches because that was an issue that I consistently saw in different churches where the inclusion didn't didn't feel like it was incredibly passionate and authentic. And I found an article about the LGBTQ Center of Raleigh, um, which of course I find out later actually shares a space sometimes with our church, which is very cool. And they had a list of churches that were friendly to the LGBTQIA community. And at the top of that list was St. John's. And I looked at a number of these different churches and I went to their websites to try to see, that's usually where I start. Um, Cause I've done some church shopping for uh, others who have done that probably are pretty familiar. If you've ever moved something, you know, the dreaded church shopping uh, to try to find your community. And I really connected with what they were saying on the St. John's website and really loved everything that they said. And I thought, okay, well maybe I'll try this. Now I'm somebody who's like, you know, I'll go to church off and on and it's not necessarily like specifically for the holidays. I grew up going to church. Um, I grew up uh, as a, at a Catholic church for half of my childhood and then the other half at like a big, um, massive uh, evangelical church. And then I kind of fell out of it, especially around the inclusion stuff. And so I would go on and off um, but I wasn't super committed. I was never, I never found a place that I just like was excited and committed about. Um, so I signed, I, I see the website, whatever, and I, I have two kids. And I'm like, oh, they have a kids program, perfect, I'm out. If they don't have a kids program, I mean, my kids are four and one, there's just no way. So I see that and, and I do, a, I registered my daughter, who's the older one. And I get a call a few days later, which was very weird to me because you don't usually get like a call and it was just them trying to say, you know, hey, our kids program's pretty new. We want to make sure that we've got everything for your daughter. Does she have any needs, etc." I thought that was really cool and inclusive. And then I kind of said, okay, well, yeah, I'll, we'll come. And it was the first place that I ever felt truly radically welcomed. I mean, a lot of places, you know, they'll have like the welcome committee and, you know, you kind of feel welcomed right when you walk in, but it's not something that continues necessarily. You don't necessarily walk in and feel that community just there for you no matter what. Um, and I felt that here. And I 
continued to feel that every weekend. And then all of a sudden, I wanted to go to church every week, which I had never really felt my entire life, including my childhood. You know, we went, that was something we did, period. It was part of our tradition. Um, but I really, really enjoy coming. And unless we are out of town, we're here. And I wake up in the morning on a Sunday and I go into my daughter's room and I go, guess what? We get to go to church today. And she literally jumps up and goes, yay! I mean, that, that just warms her heart. I've been around the, the church for a few months now, maybe four or five months. And my daughter comes with me every single time because she is not taking morning naps. And I know, uh, I know parents can understand that, although we do have a bassinet in a dark room here or little ones who do need to take a nap. Um, but she absolutely loves it. There's there's kids programming for all the different ages. Um, she just gets to come in and play. She's gonna be part of uh, singing a song uh, during a dedicated kids service coming up, which we're really excited about and practicing as a family. Um, but she just wakes up so excited to go to church. There is not one moment where there's any hesitation. I mean, it is the easiest day to get dressed. It is the easiest day to put on shoes. We are out the door so quickly. She is ready to go. She loves it. She loves being here. I like to hang out afterwards and talk to people. That is not her favorite thing in the world. And yet we have zero problems at the church. So, um, so Miss Katie and Miss Joanne do an incredible job. Um, she's in the four-year-old range. So they've got really equipment to handle babies. Uh, toddlers, preschoolers, and then they've got programming as you get a little bit older, um, just teaching about God's love, and that's really where it's all centered. For my son, we brought him, uh, he's been here before, and I was a little worried because we were, it was really the first time we were missing our morning nap, and I thought he was going to be a bit cranky. Um, he was a little concerned when I got in there and in about five minutes, Miss Joanne made a connection with him, which is not normal for him. And he had a ball. Normally when I come back to, you know, if we've gone to the gym and he's in some care or whatever, he's uh, at least crying to pretend he's been upset with me uh, for leaving him. He didn't even try to pretend this time. He just turned to me and he was just all smiles, all happy. He had the right toys. He had people, you know, engaging with him. So um, I feel so thrilled to bring my kids here every weekend. I have a lot of other Christians in my family that are incredibly serious about their Christianity as am I but we really disagree on some of the areas of inclusion. And it's something that I am incredibly passionate about and serious about because I live and love people who feel differently about that and may not you know, welcome and love some of the people that I welcome and love in my life as I consider you know, family. And I went and I spoke to Pastor Vance about that at the end of one of the services. I kind of felt, I don't know if anybody uh, has ever had those feelings where you kind of feel like you're being called to do something. And it was really random. And I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to tell him this. I don't know why. I think God knows why, because it all kind of worked out. Um, but I went and spoke to him and told him this story and told him that I was struggling around conversations with those family members because I didn't know how to speak about certain verses in the Bible where they would specifically pull out specific verses and it felt like they were being pulled out of context but I didn't have the context or the power or knowledge to be able to speak more holistically about those verses and I was asking if there were any resources here at St. John's and in that moment he said, you know what? We have a class coming up. And first of all, I'd never heard about classes at churches. I'd heard about, you know, small groups, etc., which we of course have. Um, there's a lot of different ways to connect here outside of Sunday, which is very cool. And he connected me right then and there with Jim, who was running that class. And I joined the class and I met my kids my small community in that class and became connected with them as well as the other people who came you know, regularly on Sunday. 
and it really cracked open the Bible for me in a whole new way. I'm not going to lie, I used to really struggle, especially with the Old Testament, until very recently. And the context, the, the way to look at this and understand what was going on at the time and how some of these verses are pulled out of context and can put hate towards people without that context, it, it really bothered me, it really broke my heart. And the class was different. And being able to dig into scripture in a way where you truly understood the context and the history behind it, it was a whole new way for me to engage with the Bible and Christianity in a way where I was supported and I got to develop incredible relationships here and truly have a community around.